Today we're going to learn how to identify equivalent fractions on a number line. First remember that equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal, even if they might be written differently. For example, one half of a pizza, it's the same thing as two fourths of a pizza. Even though the fractions are written differently, they represent the same amount. Well, on a number line, it's easy to spot equivalent fractions. Let's start by drawing a number line that's showing fourths. We'll start by splitting the number line in half, and then split each half in half again. So now each of these dashes is showing one fourth. Now below this, let's draw a number line showing eighths. We'll split the number line in half, then into fourths, and finally we'll split up each piece again to make eighths. Now if we look at one fourth, we could trace down and see that it's at the exact same place as two eighths. That means one fourth and two eighths are equivalent. If you shaded one fourth and if you shaded two eighths, you can see it's the same amount. So the first equivalent fraction is that one fourth is equal to two eighths. Now there are other equivalent fractions on this number line too. If we look at two fourths, we can trace it down to the bottom and see it's equivalent to four eighths. Finally, we could look at three fourths. We could trace it down and find six eighths. Three fourths and six eighths are equivalent. So on a number line, just look for fractions that are in the exact same place, and those will be equivalent fractions. So now that you've seen how to find equivalent fractions on a number line, let's do some practice together. Let's identify any equivalent fractions from these two number lines. Remember that equivalent fractions are at the exact same place on their number lines. One half is at the exact same spot as what fraction? We can see one half is at the same spot as three sixths. So we could say one half is equal to three sixths. Here's another problem to practice with. What equivalent fractions can we identify on these two number lines? Well, let's start by looking at one-fourth. What fractions are at the exact same spot as one-fourth? If you trace your finger down, you can see that no fraction is at the exact same spot as one-fourth. So no fraction on these number lines is equivalent to one-fourth. What about two-fourths, though? What fraction is at the same place as two-fourths? We can see that three-sixths is at the same spot as two-fourths. So two-fourths is equal to three-sixths. What about three-fourths? What fraction is at the same place as three-fourths? There's no fraction on these number lines on the same place as three-fourths. So the only equivalent fraction on these number lines is the two-fourths and three-sixths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Identify the equivalent fractions on these number lines. Well, we can see one-third is in the same place as two-sixths, so one-third is equivalent to two-sixths. We can also see two-thirds is at the exact same place as four-sixths, so two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths. And those are all of the equivalent fractions on these number lines. Now here's one more problem for this video. Identify the equivalent fractions on these number lines. Well, if we look at 4 eighths, we can see it's in the same place as 1 half. So 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 half. And that's the only equivalent fraction on these number lines. Congratulations! Now you know how to identify equivalent fractions on two number lines. That's all for today, and stay tuned for next time.